What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to add a website login pop-up into your WordPress website for free without coding. So imagine the following scenario, you do access the site and the site requires that you log in to see the site, to see other parts of the site. How to do this? This is what you're gonna learn in this video. But before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content for a friend of yours. I have no idea how much that helps because you bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, optimizations, and many, many more topics in your choose internet on site's favor. So let's get this started. First thing, go to WordPress dashboard, review the left sidebar of menus and hover your mouse over plugins and click on add new plugin submenu. Into the upper right corner of your screen, you're going to be able to see the keyword and search plugins field. Click on search plugins and type Firebox, just like this. Now click on install now button. Pop-up builder, on page load, pop-up exit, pop-up login, pop-up on click, sticky bar and add block firebox. Click on activate button. The plugin gonna redirect you to the plugins list, a list where you can see all of the present plugins on our site. I recommend you scrolling down just a little bit and review the left sidebar of menus once again. Especially next to settings, you're gonna be able to find a firebox menu. Click on it. You're gonna be able to see the plugin overview page, okay, a page where you can see the analytics of how many clicks your pop-up get, how many views your pop-up get. After this, you're gonna need to click into this big blue button, call it new campaign. You can start with a blank template, but I recommend that you do it in an easier way. And you're gonna be selecting the, this pop-up right here pop-up login model, okay? You can preview. Here is how it gonna looks like, okay? Just like it is right here. And you can preview on tablet or on mobile as well. Now we can click on insert template, upper right corner of our screen or right here into this little insert button. Wait while the page is created. And right here we have our pop-up, okay? Members area, the background and the plugin short code, okay? This short code of course can be edited, but can't be edited, but these other parts can. We can change the A2, we can make it bold, we can change the style, we can apply links. We can apply more content in the case that we want, for example, okay, text to explain something or links or anything that we want, any block, okay, you can use every single block you can see right here to work on what you want. And if you screw it down, you're going to be able to see a couple of extra options. We have the design set where you can edit the widget and the height for the pop-up size, we have the campaign font size for desktop, for tablet and for mobile, we have padding once again for desktop, tablet and mobile, margin for desktop, tablet and mobile, text, color, okay you can customize the color and the intensity of the color, the transparency, background color in the case that you want, online content, top left, top center, top right, middle center, up to you, we can apply shadows. We have a couple of styles of shadows in the case that you want. We have the close button options, okay? Show outside, show inside, hide. We can even remove the closing button. We can make the close button as an image. We can change the colors, the size, and the delay. We have animations to play with as well, okay? And we have borders, we have some styles for borders in the case that we want. Once again, all is up to you. Review the upper right corner of your screen and hit the publish button. Now go to any page of your site, especially the home page, and let's review the results we got. I see it different because I'm already logged in, so normally you're gonna be able to see the login form, but with the name and email or email and password, okay? But 
Once I'm already logged in to WordPress, I won't be able to see a new login form, okay? The behavior. We can change the position of the campaign. We can make a classic pop-up or a page slide. We can apply some trigger points, for example, on page load, page ready, click, hover, menu. We have the closing behavior, in the case that I want to change, to change what happens if someone closes it. For example, do not show the campaign again for X days, hours or minutes, okay? Accessibility, okay, we can do autofocus. We have the display conditions, okay, for example, all page, mirror campaign or set conditions. Display when all the behaviors conditions are met and you can set conditions. For example, we can set dates, pages, posts or anything like this and do your conditions. For example, if someone access the home page, you're going to see the pop-up form, for example, okay? We have actions if you are a pro member and we have the advanced tab where we can set CSS codes, Java and more miscellaneous things, okay? Simple, easy and effective. Just always remember to hit the to hit the update button. to save your campaign, okay? And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. Don't forget to check out our Borders WordPress plugin, our Enzo WordPress team, and our visualmoto.com portfolio of amazing WordPress teams and all you need to create the site of our dreams. Once again, feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And i see you tomorrow. All the best!